Dude, the gym's pretty good. I don't mind the gym. I don't love it. You know, you can look at my rig. I'm not overly committed. But, uh, <laughs> dude, I don't mind the gym. But uh, the thing is, they always say no sign-up fee at the gym. That's always the big selling point. I'd rather pay triple sign-up fee, no sign-up experience. <laughs> they always bombard you with questions like they're screening pro athletes down there or something. Like, it's 12 bucks a week. Let's fucking act like it, okay? <laughs> Like, yeah, it's, I was, it's always the hottest chick ever. She's asking all these questions. It's like, I'm sorry, is there a situation where I don't get in? <laughs> Here's my credit card, forget my name. <laughs> like, just the relentless questions. Always the hottest person ever, so it's very intimidating, you know? It's just like, and you know, it's just coming in. First question right off the bat, hottest chick I've ever seen, she goes, how much exercise are you doing right now? <laughs> it's like, what do you think, Caitlin? Like, <laughs> No, I'm actually fresh off an Iron Man. I'm just here to make friends. So <laughs> add me to the WhatsApp when you can. Like, <laughs> it's just brutal. Next question, she goes, what are your goals? She wants to know what my goals are, you know? The, the gym is the only amateur sport where you have to have ambition. <laughs> you know, you sign up for Div 7 soccer. No one asks about your three-year plan. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, this year Div 7. Maybe next year Barcelona. I'll just... <laughs> One day at a time, like, it's so weird. And they always want to know, they always want to know why you're at their gym. They want to know, like, how you got there. She was like, what brought you to us? What drew you in? What was it about this specific anytime fitness that drew you in? And it's like, Caitlin, it's the closest one. <laughs> it's on the way to work, babe, you know? <laughs> oh, you guys have treadmills here. No, you're really doing things differently. <laughs> Real unique program, like. But she wouldn't let the goals thing go. That was the big thing. She was like, I have to fill it out in the form. You have to have some goals. And you know, it's a tough question because I don't. So <laughs> what's the answer? I don't want to lie, but then she's so hot. It's very intimidating. She's wearing name brand active wear. There's just a lot going on in the room, okay? And so she's like, what are your goals? You won't, know, you won't get there if you don't know what they are. What are your goals? And I just cracked. I was like, all right, fine. I said, truly, Caitlin, my only goal is to get in good enough shape to have sex with girls that look like you. <laughs> so point me to the machine that's gonna make that happen, all right? What do I have to push or pull to get a foot in the door? Dude, she pointed to the ATM, I was rattled. <laughs> nah, she was 12 bucks a week too, so it's not... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> But I do like the gym, but here's the thing, there's a lot of things about the gym I didn't know. Like, I didn't know as a straight, as a straight guy, there's like a uniform at the gym. Like, I didn't know. You've got, for, you've got to go in huge headphones, preferably Beats by Dr. Dre. <laughs> then you just got to have a singlet just holding on for dear life. <laughs> just one strand of cotton as determined as you are. <laughs> and then you just got to look fucking furious the whole time. <laughs> Even though you grew up white and well off, you know? <laughs> Dad drops you off in his Mercedes, just get angry about it, you know? <laughs> I've got too many opportunities! <laughs> just get furious, dude. Like, one guy, I remember this massive Jack guy came up to me, because no one told me about the uniform. I went in with a t-shirt and a smile, okay? <laughs> People are freaking out. This massive jacked guy comes up to me. He's kind of looking a bit confused. He goes, mate, why does your singlet keep going? <laughs> I go, are you talking about my fucking sleeves, brother? <laughs> He'd never seen them before, so... <laughs> Pretty confronting, really, but... I don't know. I, I like going to, going to the gym, but usually with a friend, because like, there's so many weirdos at the gym. You might run into someone, you know, because you go to your local gym, so you don't want to run into some weirdo you went to school with or whatever. You know, it's just a lot of social anxiety at the gym. So I like to go with a friend. That way you don't have to talk to anyone else. So how's this? I was, I was uh, me and my mate Jason went to the gym on the bench press, yeah? Pressing some bench, as it were. <laughs> We're bloody benching away. I finished my set pretty aggressively, okay? I don't want to speak out of school, but it's one of the better sets we've seen. <laughs> Whatever you lift, I lifted more than that, okay? <laughs> That's how hard I was going. And anyway, I get up. Now it's Jason's turn, all right? And then Jason, out of nowhere, takes a phone call leaving me just stranded at the gym. No defences, you know, like, I'm just standing next to the bench press like I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> Horrible position to be in, you know. 
And then I start listening to his phone call. It's a pretty impressive phone call. First thing I heard, he goes, I need another 10%. <laughs> he was making deals. Okay, so, dude, I panicked. I just pretended to take a phone call as well. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so I just said, I need another 15%. <laughs> just to let him know there's two cowboys in this town. <laughs> All right, so then he's talking, I'm talking, he's talking to a person, I'm not, it's not a competition. Okay, and then he hangs up, so I wanted, obviously I had to wrap mine up, but I wanted to finish big, so I said, deal, see you in Japan. <laughs> International business, yeah? <laughs> Pretty impressive. So then Jason goes to get back on the bench, but I said, whoa, 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 where are you going, brother? Okay? I said, before you get on that thing, I'm going to need to know exactly what your goals are. <laughs> and he said, are you serious? I said, of course I am. I said, you'll never get there if you don't know what they are. And he said, well, geez, all right. And I said, come on, mate, what are your goals? And he was a bit shocked, but he, he, he was like, all right, mate, fair enough. So he said, truly, Bill, my only goal is to get in good enough shape to have sex with blokes that look like you. So, <laughs> I personally can't wait till he gets there. Um, <laughs>